This is a mad scientist, and he just created a virus that turned normal minifigures into zombies, animals, and downright cursed minifigures. And today I got a bunch of boxes in the mail full of different creepy Legos, and I'm going to be creating a horror movie in Lego. First I cut this $300 haunted house set I could use on lego.com, but don't worry, it won't last long. It's loaded with easter eggs from the Lego Adventure theme, whose main villain was named Baron Von Baron, who there's this portrait of, and there's also all these old artifacts from different Lego themes, like the obelisk build, or the skeleton head. Also, there's this epic organ to go off on. Bro is cooking right now, look at him go! Yes, sir. But I think my favorite detail is this ticket that when you flip the numbers upside down, they spell Lego. And there's a Lego man named Studley, and he went to the haunted house to try a new ride that drops you. And he also came with his friends, Blocky McBlockface, Frankly Bussin, and Florida Man. Everyone's strapped in because in three, two, if we got to say one, ah! <laughs> And while Studley was out with his friends, his family signed up for some experimental treatment with this mad scientist because they were told that afterward there would be a free pizza party. What they didn't know was, there was no pizza party. And to perform all these experiments, I had to build a lab. Once the room was set up, I added a shelf that was full of chemicals and a table with a microscope build. And there was even a beaker stand and a Bunsen burner. I also made an attempt at building a periodic table, which was a horror to me in middle school because I had to memorize them all. And then I placed the mad scientist in the lab. I'm gonna be naming Professor K. And now he can start his evil plan to turn all of Lock Street into a cursed nightmare. Ah, yes, come in. Hey, uh, when is the pizza party happening? Ah, right now. Here, have a slice. Mmm, honey, this is really good. You should try this. Yes. And after Studley's whole family munched down on some pizza, it started to happen. His dad turned into a werewolf, his mom became a witch, and his grandma became whatever this is. Then the mad professor told them to go out and feed as many people as possible with the poison pizza. Yes, I'm going to make everyone in this town cursed. Anyway, Studley just finished his ride with his friends, and I'm not going to be needing this set anymore. boy wanted to get back to his house to see his family, but when he got there, no one was home. But they left a note that said, Gone to the Patch Mansion for a pizza party. Heard it would be a thrill. Would you believe this? They went to a pizza party without me? Well, I think I would. Frankly, my buddy, I don't give a brick. And now his parents were giving out pizza to everyone in town, and they all started to become more and more scary. So let's build some of them. Like this old man who, after eating a pizza, turned into this fly guy. Also, they messed with our boy Kermit, and this child who turned into a cyclops, and it also turned Spider-Man into an animal. And we're not even gonna get started on this guy. Now this scientist's lab is actually within a giant mansion, but first I have to build the mansion. So I took all the parts from the haunted mansion and sorted them out to completely build a brand new mansion using only bricks from the haunted house. Now I love this because I was able to set up a full art gallery in the mansion with a working elevator and even a car. I also detailed up the roof and there's plenty of areas for minifigures to stand all over this building. Who could have thought you would make such a cool build with this one Lego set? I think it is proof that you don't always have to follow the instructions instructions in a Lego set, because you could end up with something really cool. All right, let's go see if they're in here. Yes, what are you doing here, Shay? We need to come in. I need to find my family. Why is there a science lab here? Come meet me on the roof, Shay. So they climbed up to meet him on the roof, and they were giving some pretty bad information. So what's going on? I'd allow this professor named Chaos to set up a lab in my basement because you promised he would give me unlimited pizza, eh? Well, did I? No, he did not. I kicked him out because he fed my daughter something that turned her into a zombie. Well, where is she? You say, I don't know, but she couldn't have left the house. If we can help you find her, can you tell us how to access the lab? Well, I'll see what I can do, say. Why do you always say that? You say I used to be a pirate, and the pirates love the say. <laughs> All right, uh, let's split up. Florida with me, everyone else get to it. So they all split up, and then Florida man was going down a hallway, and he ran into something. Hi, do you want some pizza? Well, I love some pizza. No, don't fall for it. <laughs> wow, this is a good pizza. It really is starting to make me feel funny. Oh, what's happening to me? <sighs> Oh, brick, I have to go warn everyone. Whoa, what am I, Bigfoot? What's going on? Wonder how Florida Man's doing right now. <sighs> Wait, oh, what is that? Oh my gosh, is that your daughter? No, say it's not. Rob, watch out. <clears throat> Oh no, he, he, he fed me the, the, the pizza, say. You guys have to find the lab. It's in the basement, say. Hey guys, I found the elevator. You're not gonna believe what happened to Florida Man. Shut it and move. Did he mention anything about ghosts in the elevator? I don't think so, why? No reason. Is that him? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> what did you do? I put poison in the pizza. And when it's been eaten, it causes people to become pissed. 
<laughs> Is that what's been happening to everyone? Ah, yes. As we speak, hundreds of people are being turned into cursed minifigures, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ha ha ha. What about my family? Yes. And they have been the ones spreading it to everyone. How do I cure it? There's only one cure, and it's an old witch's potion. But you're too late. I've ordered my army of cursed figures to surround this building, and there is no escape. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Quick, back to the elevator. Hey, uh, guys? Yeah? You know how I, uh, brought up the ghosts earlier? Uh, yeah. Well, I think one just, uh, fed me pizza. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> ah! Frankly, no! Oh, dang, I'm not feeling very bustin' right now. Let's get out of here. Now all the cursed minifigures were still waiting for him outside, so they had to escape, and there was a bit of an issue. Where's the car? I don't know. I guess we'll have to use that one. No, that one's garbage. There it is. Looks like the garbage will do. And luckily, after running over some of their friends and family, they were able to escape. And now Studley and Blocky were heading to the old witch cottage, which I have to build, so I got this one from an old Disney movie called Hocus Pocus, owned by these three sisters. Now I gotta say, this is a pretty solid set. It comes with a water wheel, a really worn down roof, and tons of neat details outside. There were a couple of displays, a chimney, and these cages that hold the souls of the dam. Now the Sanderson sisters only use this as a summer house, so our other chefs, Walter, Gordon, and the Swedish chef, are here to cook up some potions. But let's get back to Studley, because as they were driving, they had half of the entire population chasing them down. Stop the car, I'm gonna get out, I need to buy you some time. No, you can't, they'll melt you. You know, I'm something of a war criminal myself. So I built up this small cemetery, because when Blocky McBlock faces around, bodies are gonna drop. Come at me, I'm gonna take all of you. Gotcha. Yes, sir, first battle won. Wait, is that a flamethrower? And they melted Blocky. Luckily, that bought Studley enough time. He was able to run into the cottage and told the chefs that he needs help. Now, the cooks told him they need a dead body to revive, and they need to take the smart half of their brain out of their head to make the potion. Great, I'll get one, but I need help escaping without being noticed. Here's your costume, now go. So Blocky started digging in this abandoned graveyard, and then out of nowhere, a zombie just popped out of the ground. Yeah, you want some pizza? Yeah. Come on, old man, let's get you out of here. Hey, you got some brains at least? Now, Studley got his corpse, which has been killed a number of times, and he dragged him to the back of the cottage because the front was pretty full of savage cursed figures that Blocky McBlockface wasn't able to take out. So he popped Walter through the window, but he had to get in through the basement because he wouldn't be able to fit. We want pizza. Let us in. Let us in. Brains. 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 Yeah. Let us in. Let us in our safe. Open the door, please. Now Blocky just had to make it through the hallway. And luckily Studley made it back. And also Walter was revived and they were using magic on him to put his juices into a potion. We have the medicine. Great, how do we spread it? I've got something explosive. Ooh, like what? Uh, diarrhea. That won't work, will it? No, but this might. Give me that. Walt attached a bomb to the potion and then chucked it out the window. Wait, why would you give it our only cure? You'll see. Now the gas exploded and it turned everyone completely back to normal, including Florida Man, Rob Patch, and even your mom survived. The professor had to escape now because he knew everyone would be turning on him pretty quickly. So he hopped in his RV and tried to escape. Not if I have anything to say about it, huh? Everyone began to crowd the RV and they started beating the crap out of the professor. Then a ghost came from behind and stabbed him and then he disappeared. What is the deal with this ghost? Ugh. Now let's have an actual pizza party at my house, eh? And the day was saved, thanks to Studley, his friends, and the cooks. No, Mom, Dad, don't eat that, it's poisoned. Do we have any more potion? I don't think so. You know, Studley, your mom is so scary, like even the ghosts are scared of her. Bro, your mom is a chicken nugget. I'll be giving someone in the comments a free $10 KFC gift card if they comment the word spoopy. Also, watch this video if you want to see me build a Lego set every day for a month, and watch this one if you want to see me destroy 100 Lego sets. And it took me a month to film. Also, have a very cursed Halloween. Diarrhea?